And for me, it was there was no way I was moving from our old house in Coromel. There was just no chance. I'd put all my you know heart, soul, and work and effort, blood, sweat, and tears into it. And yeah, for me, it was just it was never going to happen. And then we oh we drove out to the show home. That was yeah. kind of the first. That was the worst thing I could have done because. <laughs> Like we went through every every display home that was yeah. out at the display village, and um, yeah, as soon as we walked through this house over there, yeah, it was that was yeah, it, it, be, it began everything that I thought would never happen. We were like going to renovate our old house and eventually do that up. Mm. Um, and then Sal's one of my clients, or was one of my clients at the time, and she was telling me that they were going to build and they were going to do it with Evolution, and they showed us the video. And then I sort of thought, oh, like I didn't even think of that option, and you know, mm. could could that suit us? And then I came home and I remember telling you and showing you the video. Yeah. And you were like, no chance, no. <laughs> not going to happen. No. But yeah, I just kept coming back to how nice yeah. of a house we could potentially have. And yeah, just one in the end. So I think everyone has like their ideal dream house, I guess. Um, for me, you know, there were certain elements that I always wanted in a, a theoretical dream home that I didn't think I would actually ever get. It's just the display home just had just ticked way too many boxes. Yeah, it was, there was just too many, too many nice touches, and it, the, the way that it was put together, it just felt, it didn't felt a lot feel like another display home. You know what I mean? Like it, it felt very much just like it was a house. You know, like you could quality. be like, well, I could just move my furniture in here and feel like I'm actually home, um, yeah. rather than oh yeah, another another display home with a generic floor plan. Well, we have two small kids, um, and the fact that. You know, people are living at home a lot longer these days mm -hmm. um, and wanting to give them an opportunity that if if they grow and they have partners and kids one day and, you know, they ever needed to live at home, this home had that opportunity, whereas our, you know, little house, you could yeah. just... It was already outgrown, really. Yeah, it was um, getting smaller as we were getting bigger and we, I think we saw this was we can grow with this house, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. We probably are the most indecisive clients that I think you'll ever have, probably. Yeah. But it was, yeah, it was never an issue, you know, like everyone we spoke to from, you know, Jason over at the display home, you know, the supervisors that we had, um, the girls in the office, like just everyone, you know, they'd get back to you straight away. Um, you know, like even Jason, you know, I remember taking in um, when he had his daughter, we took him, you know, Thank you. Um, yeah. A, yeah, a baby shower present just because we'd already built what we felt like was a good rapport and friendship. Everyone was so helpful and, you know, every change we made and then made it again because we wanted to change it back or change it to something different um, didn't ever seem to be a problem, yeah. even though there was a lot. but. You know, we are so ecstatic with yeah. the house. I think just how accommodating they were for, you know, us to play around with the design. Um, yep. It wasn't like, no, that PowerPoint has to be there or no, that's where the door is going. Like, we almost had free reign. It was basically, it was like part display, part custom build, you know. It was like this perfect hybrid um, sure. that we got the floor plan that was just so, you know, it was perfect anyway but us being able to put our own personal touch on it um, and come up with this incredible design based on the display home. Like, I'm sure that there aren't a lot of builders and I know from speaking to other people that a lot of builders are like, no, that's how it is and that's how it's gonna be. Yeah. Um, whereas Evolution were, yeah, they almost welcomed, you know, that creativity and it Absolutely. just, it shines in this. Having every little detail chosen by us. Yeah kind of was, in hindsight, I wouldn't have coped with the process if we didn't have evolution and we didn't have that ability mm. because we are so fussy. Yeah. 
we're so particular. Yeah, we are. We are very particular. But I mean, also, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you, you're putting all of your savings. So you're putting literally everything yeah. that you have into a house, and it's you know, yeah, the old saying, it's not a house, it's a home, and that's what it is. And I think evolution treat it that way. It's not just like, yeah, here's your keys, see you later. Like it's, it's very much no. They understand that you're putting emotion and finance into this, you know. And it means too that you d no display, no, like no two homes are the same. Everyone gets to put their own personal touch on. So yes, it might look similar out the front, mm. but you walk in and you know someone might have you know these big beautiful double doors, or someone might have rearranged something, and you know you walk into someone else's house that's based on the display, and you're like, oh, that's such a cool idea. Like I, I didn't think of that. So everyone gets to put their own personalized spin on something that's. Already, already so great, yeah. Yeah. Some of the features we love about the design um, would have to be the rake ceilings. Um, you know, walking through the front door and straight away you kind of see this beautiful void um, up to the main bedroom is just mm. unbelievable. And then also out to the lounge room living is just... Yeah. You, you it, can't describe it, honestly. Yeah. It, it just gives you that... Like you walk into the house and you feel like you're on holiday. Um, it's just got that open airiness. Like it just, it just feels open, bright. It just, you feel like you should be paying to be there. You know what I mean? Like it's, um, it's just got this beautiful feel to it. It feels so open. Um, and even in the display prior to us making our changes, like it just felt like had this really good flow to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the way that the kitchen was designed, you could just see yourself entertaining and having friends and family around the island and, the you know, butler's spilling pantry. out. Yeah, the butler's pantry, which has kind of turned into the coffee shop. Like it's, yeah, it's just all these cool little yeah. things that you, you can just, you can just picture yourself being there. Yeah, you know? and definitely the fireplace for me was a massive, mm. massive feature in that yeah. home. Um, we loved that we were able to absorb a bedroom from the show home. So we changed the floor plan a little bit. We really made those kids' bedrooms a lot bigger. Um, and we, we opted not to do a kids' playroom, which might be an unpopular opinion sometimes, but because our kids were getting that little bit older, we just felt that it wasn't gonna stand the test of time for us. Um, so just being able to really make those bedrooms for them a lot bigger, um, add more storage into them so that they could put all their toys in there now, but later on, it can be something else and you know it we'd learn you know in where we were living before the bath they were just splashing everywhere and it was so hard to keep it clean so that was another thing is just being able to make those changes and you know really customize it for the way you're living in the time and knowing that that those things bother you mm. evolution like let us really just have free reign of making those creative changes we were out here, no word of a lie, probably... Don't tell them! <laughs> no, probably every day. We really were. You know, we live We were renting 15 minutes up the road. Yeah. Um, but most days, well, we would literally detour down here to see what yeah. was happening. Because it was just an exciting experience. And, you know, you always felt like when you came down, something had changed, something had happened. Um, and it was just a fun, exciting thing to watch, you know, what we'd spent years, you know, looking over Pinterest, Pinterest and int Instagram and all, you know, all the inspiration that we'd built up over three years um, was actually coming out of the ground. And it was just, yeah. it was too exciting not to come down almost every day. In hindsight, it is the best thing you could ever do. It's hard at the time, yeah. but it's so worth it. It's a fast 10 months. It is. Like it sounds like a long time, but you know, now that we're here, um, as with everything, you know, once it's done, it's like, where did that time go? Yeah. And you know, I would do another three years to get this again. Yeah. You know, I would do it all over again. For sure. <laughs> as we said, touched on before, like you're putting all of your money into yeah. this thing. So. It is a stressful time. Yeah. You f I, I, I guess you feel, almost entitled a little bit to ask questions because you've got so much going on, so much money and so much emotion and everything else going into this. You almost feel like, yeah, I'm entitled to ask questions whenever I feel like I need to ask questions. Um, and 
We had Darren, who was our supervisor, um, and you know, for a guy that actually owns the business, to be able to take a call on my way home from work at 8 a.m. and you know, I might have a concern or something that's come to mind or something that I've noticed driving past that maybe wasn't quite right. Um, to be able to call him knowing that he's probably got a million other things on, or knowing he's got a million things on, um, but he will always take the call, or if he can't speak to me, he'll say, mate, I will get back to you, and does. I mean, I think that speaks the most for evolution. We even had a private certifier come through um, after we'd had the frames put up, mm. and he didn't have anything. Yeah, there was nothing, yeah. He said to the supervisor at the time, I'm gonna have to just put something on this piece of paper. Yeah. Because they've paid me to come out. Yeah. So, he, and even in the report, it was just, um, you know, build of exceptional quality yeah. and tidy work site. And when you're seeing that sort of stuff, like, you also sort of, you yeah. back off a lot as well because you're like, you know, someone who's got a far lot more experience than I do yeah. is going on site and this is what they're telling me and then we're in good hands. We wanted something that was a bit more modern coastal because that's yeah. where we've, we've grown up in coastal areas, you know, so, yeah. you know, all the houses that we'd seen growing up were like these beautiful sort of beach style, you know, just got that real beachfront Airbnb feel and that's what we wanted in ours and I think that's where a lot of our colour choices and inspiration yeah. and um, that's where it sort of platformed off. Um, I think it comes back to what we were saying before, like you see display homes and you walk in and you just, you know, it, it just feels like a nut, like they just feel generic. Um, and like Katie said, the quality, it's very, you know, cookie cutter as you go through, whereas you go into an evolution home and the first thing you notice is like, this is a, this is a quality build, you know, like yeah. the finish is a quality, um, you know, the, the attention to detail is quality. Um, Even just when we came through in our um, final walkthrough mm. and the amount of little blue sticky, yeah. sticky tape yeah. everywhere and yeah. that wasn't from us like no, Darren was, that was putting Darren. that everywhere yeah. and, and we Darren's like, walking oh. around and he's putting stu like stuff up on the ceiling I'm yeah like, where where is the what, what, yeah, what have you what have you what are you handover. fixing and so it's just those little little things you know that you're like if you know if they're still putting in this much effort to make this house perfect even when it is already perfect and yeah. they could quite literally just hand us the keys um you know I'm 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 gonna be okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, like Katie said, communication definitely. Um, and I think it probably goes on the back of that. Just yeah, the that creative freedom that we were talking about. It's it's they're definitely not just another project home builder. They are, you know, they're happy for you to you know play with the design and, and get it so that it's yours. The other thing that I absolutely love about deciding to to do a brand new build journey was that you haven't had to do any more you know you don't have to renovate now you don't have to paint the house you don't have to yeah do so many jobs that you would have had to do if we had a stayed yeah. in an older home yeah. and that's made me grateful because now we have the time back you know yeah. Like Which I've literally got a chair that I call the appreciation it's... chair because I sit in it every morning and I just look at the house. You do. And yeah, just think how lucky I am. But it's priceless to have a, a turnkey house and to be able to you know, sit back and just enjoy it. We regularly say, and this isn't just like you know, rehashing evolution's catchphrase. Like <laughs> it's quite, we quite literally go like when someone asks, how, how is your house? we say it's our happy place yeah and it's yeah like I said it's that's not just you know being a um a walking billboard for evolution it's just like that's what we say and it, I think for us or for, for me at least you know coming home from shifts um and then like turning into our street and pulling into the driveway yeah. and like the moment you open the door like it's just there's just that something where you're just like oh I'm home like it's just yeah, you, you feel like you, you're stepping into a holiday house yeah. that's eventually someone's going to knock on the door and say, hey, come on, it's time to leave, <laughs> like you've overstayed your welcome. Like it literally feels like that every time you walk into the house and to and feel I, like that every day, it's just unreal. 
it was worth it. Yeah, I would, like I said, I would do it again. And if, you know, if I had to go back and do another three years and make all the little decisions and go through the stress of selling a house at auction and being in the front room listening to it, yeah, easy. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Nothing beats this. Yeah. Nothing at all. Thank you.